God of power and might, tear open the heavens and come quickly to this weary world. Hear our prayers for everyone in need. Patient God, waken me to your love and the life you bring. How can we thank you enough, God, in return for all the joy that we feel before you? We thank you for food and remember the hungry. We thank you for health and remember the sick. We thank you for shelter and remember the homeless. May these remembrances stir us to service that your gifts to us may be used for others. You are the potter, we are the clay. We are all the work of your hand. May our gifts be shared with and by our congregation in the presence of Chuck and Linda Ackley, Curtis and Courtney Alberg, Dick Alberg, Rick and Darlene Alberg, Bob Alberg, Don and Amy Ayler, and Brent. They are all important parts of our life together and work with us to create the faithful and grateful body of Christ. Let our prayers and actions serve to bring them hope and their faith in you give them comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great Father, your grace has been given to us in Jesus Christ. In every way we have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, so that we are not lacking in any spiritual gift as we await the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the sacrifice of your Son, you have redeemed us. We have such a simple price to pay for that redemption, faith. We are weak, though, Lord, so help us to grow that faith, to nurture that faith, and to share that faith with our brothers and sisters at Trinity in Battle Creek and Reverend Sherston Sullivan, Zion in Woodland and Re Reverend Rebecca Ebb Spies, and Karen Anderson, healthcare professional in Santiago, Chile. Let us show the world the strength of that faith, that all may know you and be saved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Spirit, rest your peace on those suffering from this pandemic and other illnesses of body, mind, or spirit. Keep their caregivers safe and give them strength. Protect their families. Help us to overcome politics to solve this crisis, develop and deliver equitably the vaccine, and get past this difficult time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we prepare to go into the world, let us see the sacrament in the wearing of a mask. Let it be an outward sign of inward grace, a way of living love for our neighbors as we love ourselves. Since our lips will be covered, uncover our hearts that people would see our smiles in the crinkles around our eyes. Since our voices are muffled, help us to speak clearly, not only with words, but with actions. As the elastic touches our ears, remind us to listen carefully and be full of care for all those we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, as we await and prepare for our glorious reunion with you and the shedding of our worldly bodies, we remember those who have gone before us to share in your everlasting peace. Strengthen us to the end so we may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. We look forward to joining them in your glory when our time comes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Draw near to us, O God, and receive our prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>